cylinder dredges up mud from the seabed in the form of long cores. The types of tiny fossils found at different levels in the core shows the sea temperatures of the past. Geologists have collected enough sea cores to form a detailed history of climate during the last million years. Dr. James Hayes leads the research. The climatic record in these deep sea cores tells us that there have been eight ice ages in the last 700,000 years. It also tells us when they have occurred. There are many enigmatic, astonishingly well-executed ancient ruins found all over the world. With some regions in particular displaying overwhelming masses of evidence supporting the posit of a past highly advanced builder, these areas often littered with displays of incredible ancient feats. Yet our next place of interest possesses some of the most incredible rock-cut chambers to be found anywhere. And just like that of the Giza Plateau or the Inca Trails of Peru, Turkey, along with its ancient counterpart Lebanon, still contains a smorgasbord of ancient uparts, mystifying masonry skills, and gigantic stone trilithons, all found within what would appear to have been a major settlement of this now lost civilization. The reason why we attest to many of Earth's ruins, having once been the work of a past, now lost civilization, is the number of unexplainable features nearly always discovered at these puzzling ruins. Therefore, to understand that all the knowledge utilized to build such sites, the methods for lifting such stones conveniently forgotten, is to suspect that they were instead the work of an equally forgotten civilization. It appears to be a logical hypothesis to pursue, one which we indeed have been, which we have found bared much fruit. We believe we have now amassed enough evidence to support our claim beyond any reasonable doubt subsequently discovering a far more fitting tale of events in regards to the true origins of many of the world's largest of ancient ruins. Hattusa is a melting pot of baffling construction techniques and surviving ancient artifacts. Within permitted timelines, the site predictably has a well-explored period of inhabitation. Yet any explanation as to how these more recent ancestors achieved its construction conveniently eludes modern academia. Hattusa was also known to have been the capital of the Hittite Empire in the Late Bronze Age, added to the UNESCO World Heritage List in 1986. The main focus of this video, however, is in relation to a rather curious anomaly at the site, a unique object which could be described as an out-of-place rock cut. Known as the Green Rock of Hattusa, this mysterious stone's origin, or perhaps more importantly, its past function, is unknown. The green stone was once so perfectly polished, it originally had a mirror finish. Yet why this particular stone is here, why they chose this green stone specifically, or who brought it to the site, is a complete mystery. There are many other impressive features found at the site including holes bored through massive megaliths with seemingly laser-like precision. It also has the ruins of what has been confirmed to have once been a sphinx. All of these characteristics indicate that at one time, in the very distant past, Hattusa was a place of significant importance, sharing an uncanny amount of similarities in build technique and layout to many sites of South America. Yet its green stone is unique to this site only. The question is why? Why was this green stone quarried, cut, placed where it lay, then polished to perfection? Was the stone merely a gift from an Egyptian pharaoh, as modern academia would have you believe? Or did the green stone of Hattusa once serve a more profound purpose? One day, we will find out. It is an object which we find highly compelling.